Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are going to be talking about seven days. Specifically, I wanted to give you guys a base tour and I want to talk about some of the things that we did, why we did them and the decisions we made within them. So this is our base. Um, you can see that it's an in-ground base and we're going to go ahead and go through the whole thing and I'll cover it from the top up when we do Horde Nights. Uh, we do have a side entrance that we'll get to first afterwards but I just wanted to show you what it looks like up top um, and you can see we're in the middle of working on it and we do stream on Twitch uh, two days a week playing this game so if you want to check us out you can check us out at twitch.tv slash have some lemur uh, I will link it down in the description down below but basically we've got our spikes out here we're working on those uh, and then we've got a 15 pit uh, fall for the zombies to take so they take fall damage plus we've got like what we call the bird cage um, and we're gonna start towering up for like sniping abilities and stuff like that for everybody else but with all that being said that's what our main base is because our plan is to kill the zombies not to hang on to them um, and just keep them alive and survive the night uh, after that though we do have two entrances here this is just like a little manned entrance that we can get into uh, and then this entrance is actually our pull in for our uh, ATVs um, we are not currently using any mods I'm going to have to open this up with my inventory wide open there for you. Uh, we are really only focusing on uh, doing it as vanilla. Uh, so that means we have to deal with like the electrical and the lag that comes with that. But basically, you can come down here and you run through here. And this is our entrance to our tunnel. Um, because we did the half slopes on here, it makes it so it's drivable on a on a car uh and so it's not super slow down here is just a mine that we happen to find while we were digging this out um so you're gonna see that it gets kind of crazy down here but that was a mine that we were working on uh that we had down there to go ahead and check out but then we make our way through the tunnel uh into another drawbridge section um right now we have them all as manual uh we don't have them powered yet there's really not that much of a difference uh, unless you did a double switch on itself at a three-way switch or something but uh, as you can see here we have um gyrocopters mini bikes and this is kind of our our car storage is really what this is this is a place for us to park all of our cars we put our beds up top here so that they're unreachable along with our generators and stuff um not that they're unreachable but the odds of something getting up there are pretty slim so we always have kind of a spawn point uh in case of emergencies or anything of that nature uh, but let's go ahead and make our way all the way to the basement so you guys can kind of see what that looks like uh, i'm gonna have to leave my inventory on for this so you can see it because we're gonna have to open doors you can see i need food and stuff but that's fine uh, but if you come down here you see we got blade traps we got traps falling down we're working on the walls right now we want to get this whole side concrete walls um and really kind of focus on that we want to get these blade traps up and everything and get everything running uh, which is on our list of things to do so you can see like we have a little switch inside where we can clip that and just go ahead and get those blade traps up and running tearing up the zombies and really helping us on uh, the day sevens that we have so the initial fallback is we hold this uh we hold the up top part until they start to fall into the pit. Once they fall into the pit, uh, a half of us normally come down to the bottom of the pit uh, and we start holding it and shooting through the little sections right here, trying to hold them the best we can. Um, and then if that door or something goes, we have another fallback you can see here to fall behind and continue to hold uh, once again and hold again. Uh, we keep most of our ammo right here. Um, we're probably going to expand these eventually to have uh, a section up top and a section down below. Just in case we ever got overrun, we can kind of grab this crap and go and make sure we get it up. But um, during Horde Nights, these doors would stay closed. These are just the doors to the vehicle bay right here. Uh, and that way when we're running up, they won't bust into that vehicle bay. They'll continue to follow us up this little pathway here where we have another continuation of our uh, protective surfaces. So you lock this door, you keep fighting, lock this door, we keep fighting. Um, and then technically this is the second to last door, but this is one of the more important ones. So um, we can continue to hold from this section and a little bit from this side. Um, however, we need to make sure that we have these doors shut because back here is like our crafting area, our forages that we have, and all of our storage. So this is kind of one of those areas where you got to really be careful. We probably wouldn't hold long unless it was the end of a horde night, uh, and then we'd possibly do it because it's you know worth it at that point. Uh, but with all of this, I don't think we want to do that. Then uh, we would chase them up to the top here, and they would be in this little chamber right here. People could hide either outside here shooting in on them uh, in the bird's nest. So this is what it's we call the bird's nest. 
just to help us protect us from birds and acid spitting and stuff like that. It just gives us a spot, gives us a spot to look out uh, and go ahead and defend ourselves or whatever we need to do uh, for the elements of this. But yeah, it gives us a nice starting spot. As I said, once the spikes fall, they fall down the pit, then we defend the pit kind of a situation. But uh, so then you come in here, as I said, they come up this hill, we fight them. Then the eventual goal is to pull them through this door. Um, and then literally this is where our solar banks are and stuff. And this is just kind of the, the end of the line. Basically, once we're up here, this is it. Um, we have nowhere else to go. We do have some gyros. Um, we have tested that um, if you really had to and people had to take off, you could put a gyro here uh, and take off and just start flying away if, on Horde Night. So we do have an exit. We're going to plan on expanding this, making it taller, maybe making a uh, gyro lift, maybe making like a ramp, like a like – a, aircraft carrier something to take off uh, but really this is holding really well on vanilla we're on day 46 as you can see on your screen right now um, it makes it's a lot of fun um, having this kind of a situation and really working out with it uh, we have anywhere between uh, f sometimes six people on horde nights uh, but you know, all the way down to just three of us is kind of the standard if it's not three of us we don't play uh, just because there's a lot of us on there as you see we're hitting night time now in the game uh, but that's our whole base. I really just wanted to kind of share it, show you, uh, give you an opportunity to check out our base and just have a look at what what we're working on and where we're at and all that kind of fun stuff. So if you enjoy it, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Um, uh, make sure you leave a comment down below if you have a different thing, if you feel like we messed something up somewhere, or if, or if you know something better, we're always there to listen to that kind of stuff. Uh, but with all that being said, guys, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and hit that bell for notification. And again, if you want to watch us actually building and fighting Horde Night, you can see Sunday, this Sunday, right after this video comes out, we're probably going to be running the next Horde Night, so expect that to come uh, on Sunday. So if you want to check that out, you can help us watch us defend the base over on the Twitch channel. Um, and if you want to see me start posting horde nights let me know i will post them in here not a big deal at all you can watch the craziness that ensues for horde nights i think i have some stockpiled horde nights too uh just let me know so i think we all have a fantastic day and we will see you on the next episode or live on twitch of lemur's corner